So guys, I want to give my Fury Wilder prediction. A lot of you wanted this prediction, wanted me to say who I think would win. I did a video and my brother, uh, with my brother and I uploaded it this morning. He said, you know, Tyson Fury um, knocks out um, Wild, uh, knocks out Wilder late on. Um, how do I see this fight going? I think Fury is going to outbox him. I think Fury is going to outbox him. But the question mark I have, can Fury outbox him for 12 rounds? That's the million dollar question. I don't know. I think I think Fury's good enough. I think he's had a long layoff. Let's not forget Fury's been out of the ring for a long time and he came back against two sparring partners who were who really weren't anywhere near the level of a wilder. Really he needed to have a fight like a Dillian White or a fight maybe a little bit lower than that. But the level that he came back at was so low. I I you know you it's difficult. It is difficult to see how Tyson does it because it would be a hard fight stylistically for Fury anyway. I've, I've said this before that I think stylistically Deontay Wilder would be a hard fight for Tyson Fury anyway. Stylistically, Fury's a hard fight for Wilder. But the thing is, I don't think Fury has the power. Although they've been talking in camp, I think that's more psychological to trying to get under Wilder's, to try to get into Wilder's head. I don't think Fury has the power. And I'm not so sure he can keep Deontay Wilder off of him. And when you've got a big puncher like that, it's really hard to outbox him. It's a big puncher that's very well calculated, that knows how to set up his big shots, that knows how to land that right hand. That's the issue. He's not just a big puncher that's wild and, and can't land. He can land. He, he's very fast. He's very, very fast. And he just has to land once in the fight. And if he hurts you and stuns you, the fight's finished. The fight's over because he's going to knock you out. He's not going to give you a chance. And that's the issue Fury's going to have. The other thing is, obviously, Fury's not been in a fight of this magnitude. It's all right going 12 rounds against those type of guys that he fought previously. But he was under no pressure in that fight. This fight, if he's under a lot of mental, mental and physical pressure, how's he going to cope going the distance, especially what he's done to his body over the over, you know, last couple of years? How's he going to cope? Is he going to be able to go that easily? Because we knew Fury's in the past went 12 rounds comfortably and it was never really an issue for him to go 12 rounds. You know, he could go 15 rounds. He's that type of fighter. But can he do that right now? You know, can his body do what it could do before? We just don't know. That's why there's so many questions beside Tyson Fury's name. You know, we, we still don't know how good Tyson Fury is because he hasn't fought enough. He hasn't fought enough at the top level. He may be the best he may be, there might not be any heavyweight in this era that be able to beat him. He may be that good. But the only issue is until he fights and until we see him more often, we can't really make that judge call. I do think, you know, it's going to be a nip and tuck fight. I do think it's going to start off quite cagey. I don't think it's going to be explosive or they're both going at each other. I think it's, you know, Wilder's fights are normally quite cagey early on um, unless he finds a big, a big shot. But I think it's going to be quite cagey. Fury is going to be quite tricky. Um, but my prediction is that I think Deontay Wilder is going to get him. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I think Deontay Wilder is going to knock Fury out later on in the fight. That's my, that, that's my prediction. And I hope I'm wrong. Guys, I, I want to make this clear. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And I hope Fury knocks him Wilder out in the first round. Because I really want Fury to win this fight. But I'm just giving my opinion... I just think Wilder's going to score a stoppage maybe late on. He could do it early, but I just can't see Fury staying away from Wilder for 12 rounds. But like I said, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Fury can. But unfortunately, I just don't see him being able to box Wilder, you know, for 12 rounds and, and, and beating him. Because I just think, stylistically, I think Wilder's is all wrong for Fury in the sense that I just don't think what he did against Klitschko, he can do against Wilder. It's just not going to happen. I think styles make fights. And I think stylistically, you know, although he might outbox Wilder for, a, 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 you know, four, five, six rounds, I think eventually Wilder will catch up to him. You know, I hope I'm wrong, but that's my prediction. I, I Wilder will knock Fury out in the late rounds. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.